This is Joseph Coco. I'm at 8 2014 on behalf of Becca Hilburn's Art Process Blog. Keep on trucking Nava Soup. If you could introduce yourself, Babs. Hi, I'm Babs Tarr, and I'm the new artist on DC's Batgirl. Awesome. So what's bringing you to Ape this year? This is up. October I probably believe it's going to be out. It'll, I mean, October 8th it comes out. Okay. And, yeah, uh, Can you tell us? Issue 35. Sorry? It's issue 35. Awesome. Um, so can you tell us your experience with uh, working in the uh, DC comic realm? It's been amazing. Um, since I got pulled on, like, my writers were super welcoming. Like, Cameron um, Stewart kind of plucked me out of, like, obscurity and dropped me okay. on this book. Was he familiar with the illustration work, or someone yeah, had given you? He apparently had been a fan for like a couple years. Awesome. And they actually offered Batgirl to him to like write and, and draw, and he just got the Fight Club. So he didn't have the time to, to do Batgirl full time. So yeah. he said, okay, let's do this. Like, let me create the team and help write. And, um, you know, because I can't say no to this. I want to be involved. Definitely. So he found me and Brendan Fletcher, the co-writer. a good transition period for you to come in on this. Yeah, okay. like Cameron, Cameron um, I know he submitted my name along with like 20 other artists, like very capable people, and like and, and he told me that, and I was like, okay, let me know like when DC like hires me. Like, yeah, because that's really going to happen, it was, like, right? So absurd. Like I've never done a comic, comic before, or even a sequential page, and um, my, my style just didn't look like anything that DC was publishing. No, so certainly just, not. It just felt like a long shot, so I was like, okay, Cameron. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he, he was like, I was like, how real is this? Like, how real? And he's like, well, like, I think they're ready for change, so they might they might go for you, so let's go for it. I said, I was like, okay, let's do it. Like, you can't lose anything, you know? So he submitted my name with a list of 20 other artists, and then it was down a little bit of time, like, it was down to two people. what the key moments basically are like, to represent. Yeah. You know, because um, it was much more like the cute, cozy stuff I'm used to drawing, yeah. but like the action stuff was kind of tougher, like, like the page flow and like little things like that, which I've learned so much since then, but, um, but yeah, we I fixed it up and then we sent it to the editor and the very next day they gave me the title. That is amazing. Yeah, so it's, I'm still to pinch myself, but it's even like a real thing that's happening. Um, so yeah. do you think your style is going to permeate into DC a little bit more, or this is just kind of a one-off sort of thing that they're testing no, out? I think, um, I mean, I think my style fits the tone of the book. Okay. So, like, we're kind of doing, like, this, um, like, youthful, like, young, like, energetic, like, tough, like, sexy book. So I think if they were to do something this similar in story-wise, like, I think my style would fit, but it's definitely not for every Yeah. If you like mysteries and a bat book, if you like spy novels and a bat book, if you love, you know, if you 
all their recent movies. Yeah, so. well, you know, they're, I think the readers grow up and they're trying to make the stories grow up with them, but then you like forget about the younger audience. Yeah, where it all it's started. Good that they're like branching out like that. So maybe, you know, if it's appropriate, but I think it's going to definitely open the doors for more art styles and more tones of the books, which I think is going to be good. Okay. Yeah. And do you have any advice to uh, an artist who has maybe more of a cutesy or independent comic sort of style who's trying to uh, pitch to Marvel or DC? Um, fans uh, that, that you've built up responded to to you doing back there. Are oh, they excited I mean, about I it? I think they, they're, they're, <laughs> they're really excited because you know, they're a fan of my work and they get like uh, every page be like full of my drawings. I think people just are really yeah. excited that they get more of it. Right, so they're just consuming it because you're illustrating it, yeah. even if even if they're not the most excited about that girl. Yeah. But yeah, you certainly have a, a great style, so Thank I can you. understand that. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, and if I can like bring more people into comics, like I know a lot of girls are like, I don't really read comics, but I love your style, yeah. so I'm gonna like buy your book. And I'm just like, that's awesome. You know, maybe it'll open more doors for them and they'll build their audience. So that's cool. Yeah, because like you were talking earlier, mainstream, I think, could definitely try to broaden their audience a little bit. It seems to be focused yeah. mostly on males who want to see a lot of action. Yeah. Uh, and you can still do an action comic that isn't necessarily targeted at males or yeah. um, even just do a non-action comic. I mean, heaven yeah. forbid. <laughs> yeah, it's just open for more people with a wider audience. I think guys would enjoy this book, too. It's just, uh, yeah, certainly. Less, like, yeah, I'm going to check it out when it comes out for yeah, sure. Hope you guys like it. Okay. And uh, what's been your experience at Ape? Uh, you've been coming for how long now? Um, this is my second year tabling. Okay. And uh, my, my first year I was just walking around and I remember was so mad I didn't have a table. Okay. I was like, never again. And, um, <laughs> this is my second year. You were just excited by all the buzz or everyone you knew was at the show? It or? just kills me to not have a table and like be representing myself. You yeah. know, like I see all these people who got their... Finding that you're enjoying the the sequential stories more than just doing illustration work, or are you trying to tell it's like brief stories different. with your illustration yeah, in the like, first place? Yeah, I think I try to tell a story with my little illustration, um, and like sequential is just like a longer, more yeah. drawn out story. But um, am I enjoying it more? I think it's kind of equal. Like they both have like pros and cons to it. Like comics are so much work, but yeah. it's like such a in the game industry briefly? Did I, I hear that did. right? Okay, you were just doing illustration work for them? Or yeah, concept um, art? When I graduated college, I got, I came out to San Francisco and it was a very editorial-based illustration uh, department. Yeah. Because all of our teachers used to do magazine, uh, magazine uh, illustrations and um, newspaper illustrations, so that's kind of the only thing I was familiar with. And I got out of school and I was like, okay, and I, this is kind of the rule of thumb is it takes like two years for you to like kind of get Every program. Then, yeah. So um, I was like, okay, I'm gonna move out to illustration. I'm gonna move out to San Francisco with some friends, and I'll uh, I'll get like a coffee shop job and like try to do art. Figure things 
out. Yeah. But I kept seeing these like 2D artists like full time positions. Yeah, especially for like mobile games and that yeah, sort of like, thing was really prominent at that time. And, yeah. Like, it was just a ton of them all over San Francisco. So I applied to one and I got it and it was like it was awesome because like the parents didn't have to worry about, you know, like all of a sudden I got a salary job. <laughs> oh wow. Sure. Freedom to do what you want. Yeah, it kind of like made me kick my butt to like motivate me to you know pursue what my heart you know just my heart was into. So after a year, I got super bored and I started making my own stuff. And I think out right out of school, you get kind of scared and you get kind of frozen. And I think that's exactly what happened to me. And um, at one point, I was just like, I don't care if I fail or lose. I'm just gonna make. And I think that's the best thing a young artist can do is just to. Um, how long are you going to be doing the, the Batgirls uh, line? Um, right now it's like indefinitely, so I don't know when awesome. it's going to end, but uh, I'm sure you know, sales are going to end to that guy, so if you're into it... Go out, buy the comic. Thank you, yes, yes. exactly. So, it's a good message, <laughs> buy my work. Uh, so do you have any other... Pro I mean, obviously Batgirl is going to be the majority of your um, time in the future, but do you have anything else that we could be looking forward to? Conventions you're attending in the near future? Yeah, or? I'm going to attend. Sponsoring all this, or you're going? The conventions do. So they like they oh, contact wow. you and they fly you out. And they'll pay up in a hotel. And give you that is great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To just have everything covered for you. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna make the the fans jealous. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm just, hopefully You'll some of them will be able to make it. Yeah, yeah. And, and check out your work online yeah. or at those conventions. Uh, so where could we find your work uh, other than at comic shops? Obviously, yeah. where Batgirl is um, being. Babs, babs, babs .com. Do you have any advice to an artist who's considering attending Ape for the first time? Um, tabling at Ape? Tabling? Yeah. Um, yeah, just, you know, come prepared. Uh, give them a wide range of things to buy. Like, I try to have, like, like the lower end stuff for, like, a dollar. So, yep. like, even if they really love your work, but maybe they are not want to commit to a big purchase or they don't want to buy, like, they don't have enough money to buy a big print, you can, they can take something home and still brag about meeting you and be excited about it. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, because if someone it. likes your image, they can find something with it on it yeah. that they could use, yeah. basically, even if they're not necessarily and a print person. I think I would say, like, don't try to, like, attack people. Just let them, like, be curious and come to your table and, like, okay. chat, chat them up casually. All right, well, thank you so much for the interview. I hope you have a good ape, and congratulations on the Batgirl. Thanks so much. You're welcome.